Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's having a good day. So let's get right into this. We are going to go over some must-have uh, meat rigs. And in the past, we've gone over must-have spin doctors and must-have salmon spoons. And of course, the natural progression is we're going to do meat rigs. And of course, in a few weeks, we will do must-have plugs. Um, this started off kind of just a... I just wanted to put something out there that was kind of fun. And uh, this was so well-received that... Uh, I want to keep going on this so i'm glad everybody's enjoying this so anyway um if you don't know me or if you're new to the channel my name is chris i run dark blue charters out of manistee michigan a salmon charter and a lake trout charter here on the beautiful port of manistee uh, my friend jim and i my good buddy uh, we do this channel and we uh, try to get out as much good content as we can you know helpful how to's on salmon fishing and trout fishing uh, things like that rod rigging bait selection you name it, speed, currents, we try to do it all. And we do a live stream every Sunday night at 7 p.m. It's kind of like a Q&A thing, but we cover a lot of good topics also, like uh, how to optimize a six-rod spread, how to uh, rig a, a copper rod, um, how to run flash or fly, how to do meat rigs. And uh, so that's uh, that's really the path we're going down here. So anyway, welcome here if you're, if you're new to the channel. And... Uh, we're on the Tangle Tackle website right now, so just a little reminder to everyone: I don't own Tangle Tackle. My good friend Bud does. He has the uh, the dubious honor of being the owner of the shop. He's just a real good friend of mine, and uh, we represent him in tournaments and many other things as well. So I, I still get a lot of people emailing me or stopping in the shop, wanting to know why I'm not there. Uh, the reason is because I don't work there. Uh, I am there quite often, but uh, I'm usually out on the water. So if you stop in there looking for me, I'm sorry if I'm not there. I'd love to meet you, but uh, maybe we'll, we'll cross paths sometime. So all right, TangleTackleCompany.com. First thing I want to do is I want to scroll down here, and this is important. Sign up today for a Tangle Tackle membership. Become a part of Team Tangle Tackle. All you got to do is pop your email in right here. Um, it doesn't cost a thing, and we do not sell your information. The reason being is because we have sales all the time on things, and I think people are catching on. Normally when I do a video, like a must-have must have a meat rig video, there might be a sale to follow. So if, uh, if you want to pop your email in here and you want to save some money, I don't know, on possibly meat rigs, uh, which might just be a few days away, you might want to do that. All right, anyway, let's hop in here. These are my must-have meat rigs, and keep in mind, these are what have worked for me and other charter boats that I fished on and Jim and I in the tournament, you know, the tournaments that we fished. These are the ones that have worked very well for us over the years. And if your favorite meat rig is not on here, hey, I apologize. It's nothing against you. No slight towards you. I respect your choices. Um, it's just that, again, these are what have worked well for us. So we're going to go over meat rigs. We'll hop into lures. Uh, we'll go to trolling flies and meat rigs. And we'll start off with Diabolical. Di now, I'm not going to start here because I'm a Dreamweaver guy through and through. So I got to start I gotta start with Dreamweaver. Um, I, I bleed Dreamweaver stuff. Love it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go over these must-have meat rigs. And then I'll try to go over also some of the uh, spin doctors and other things that I use them with. Uh, try to give you a, a full, you know, a full, uh, a full thing, you know, give you the whole gamut. Anyway, let's, uh, let's scroll down here. So the green moo, the green moo, and the the moo moo. These are great glow um, meat rigs. These things are fantastic early in the morning, and really they will go all day long. Um, there's days I got green moos and moo moos in, and that's the only meat rigs I'm running because they are just working that well. So we're gonna start there. The green moo and the moo moo. <laughs> what a great name. Um, the moo moo I don't think is on this site. It may be on. The Dreamweaver site, unless they're out of stock. Um, if you here's the thing about Dreamweaver: if you don't find their stuff on their website, they're out of stock. And if you don't find the stuff on TangleTackleCompany.com, um, good 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 chance we're out of stock also. So anyway, Green Moo and Moo Moo and Moo Moo. We'll start right there. That's a great one. What's a the double the double white crush eight inch and ten inch spin doctor with those is my go to if I'm running the Green Moo or the Moo Moo. That double double white crush spin doctor uh, is my go-to for it. Love it. Um, if not that, then I'd love the 8-inch double pearl spin doctor or the black 8-inch pearl double spin doctor. 
and the 10 inch um here's the thing about meat rigs you can run 8 inch and you can run 10 inch they both work very well some people only run 10 inch with meat rigs and by you know by spin doctors we can hop in here i can show you what i'm talking about eh, here's the 8 inch version so you know here's here's the spin doctors that we can run be, you know run those behind Dreamweaver has it set up pretty nice. Um, if you go to Flash or Spin Doctors, you can go 10 inch as well. And like I said, a lot of the boats out there, quite a few will only run the 10 inch Spin Doctors on meat rigs. I run the 8 inch all the time. I, I actually I prefer it. Uh, but if you want to stick with that 10 inch, you know, state of mind, hey, that that's fine. Uh, we have those for sale also here on Tangle Tackle. If you go to Dodgers, Flashers, Attractors, uh, Dreamweavers, 8 inch and 10 inch Spin Doctors, they are right there paddles are there also and you can definitely run meat rigs behind paddles anyway let's get back into let's get back into the meat rigs now, i know i don't think you can see my cursor um, i'm not sure if you can or not while i'm doing this but uh hopefully you can anyway uh the this one is sold out but the green mile love this thing um this one is almost if meat rigs are going this one is normally out for me. In fact, yeah, if meat rigs are going, this one is definitely out. One of my favorites um, to run behind that thing, if I can find it real quick, or one of my favorites to run in front of that thing, rather, is the live wire spin doctor. I don't know if I can bring it up real quick. Um, again, I have a I have a video out on must-have spin doctors. It is, I'm oh, sorry, I'm in the wrong spot here. Uh, it is on there. Hey, there's so many on here. Um, yeah, if you look up live wire, that's one I absolutely love for that meat rig, that Green Mile meat rig. A couple of the other ones again are the uh, the Chin Music. I really enjoy that. The Showtime, the UV Showtime, and the regular Showtime. The uh, Double Pearl, the Black Double Pearl. Um, what I mean by Black Double Pearl, the uh, the rotator itself is black. Uh, but yeah, those are some great ones to go with that. The Cup Make. Chrome Frog. Uh, there's no picture for it here. We need to get a picture for that up on the website. But that thing is a super high flash. Um, one thing that's kind of cool about Dreamweaver meat rigs is they will name the meat rig uh, to accompany a really good flasher for it. So if I do go back to uh, da -da -da, flashers and tractors, 8 inch, and I look down here and I find the Chrome Frog right there, uh, that is that's telling you right there that is a great setup that's a great way for you to to if, if you're new to this kind of thing and you want to partner some things up that's a great way that dreamweaver does it they're really smart about that take some of the guesswork right out um yeah good job dreamweaver well done anyway chrome frog definitely it's bright bright sunny day love that thing chin music again is a great one magic man is a great one to run for that um uh, the Two-Face is another great one off the top of my head that I'd like for that one. Anyway, moving on. Green Gas. This is another one of my go-tos. Uh, th so they have a gas... You know, Dreamweaver kind of has... Not kind of. They do. They have like a gasoline series of meat rigs. They have the Green Gas, the Yellow Gas, and I think just the UV Gas. Uh, out of the three, this one is likely my favorite. And this thing is fantastic behind a Kevin's Girlfriend... Again, behind that double pearl, black and white, behind the behind blue bubble, I can think of that one. What else? Uh, the Chin Music, uh, the Magic Man, again, that's another great one. Those are all spin doctors that you can uh, run these with. Let me just take a gander back at some of the other spin doctors. I know there's more that I'm not thinking of. You put me under pressure, and this is what you get. Oh, Dragon Slayer. Love that one as well with that thing. Uh, da 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 there's the live wire. That's the one I talked about before. Typically, you want to match up really shiny ones with really shiny ones and glow with glow, dark with dark. You know, things like that really have a tendency to work pretty darn good. And it's not a bad idea to experiment. Uh, and if you find one that works, and not just like works one time, because one time's a fluke. If it works multiple times, keep that thing figure take a picture of it measure it you know figure out what it is about that thing that is really working and duplicate it i do that all the time i know a lot of other boats that do that as well um yeah because sometimes the the 
the teasers will get moved around, the, the, the lengths will get cut down. Try to duplicate that thing as well as you can and keep that thing, you know, keep a couple of them ready to go like that. If you lose it, at least you got a, a carbon copy of it somewhere. Um, if you lose that one, oh, maybe maybe you're in trouble unless you, you wrote it down somewhere or took some pictures of it. Anyway, little tip for you. That, that's one thing that really always works. If you got something that's working multiple times, keep it going. All right, moving on. Greed gas. That's that's a great one. The did, 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 uh, the Kevin's girlfriend, of course, by the name, you can figure out that that thing likely works with Kevin's girlfriend very very well. Uh, the spin doctor, and it does, works fantastic with with Kevin's girlfriend. Um, let's see here. If I click on all. I should be able to get all the spin doctors here from Dreamweaver. We have these all on the TangleTackleCompany.com website also. So. Going through, I just want to go through here some of these and give you a heads up on some of these. What some of my favorites are for for meat rigs. Uh, the blue jeans I love for meat rigs. The green jeans, yes, definitely. The Two Face I talked about that already. The Chrome Two Face definitely. The UV Chrome Frog, definite. Great meat rig spin doctors. The Purple Valium, that thing when purple is going, I love having that thing in the water with purple meat rigs. So that one right there is great. I guess if I do it this way, I can cover a little bit more ground, and then we can go back to the meat rigs and look there. Um, there's the white pearl fish, the white pearl fish scale, and the white crush. Both are excellent. the The UV fish scale also great, great um, glow or a bright sunny day rotator. There's the blue bubble. Uh, it's called the blue hollow crush glow. It's not called blue bubble. It's just what everybody. Has nicknamed it over the year. Of course, there's Kevin's girlfriend. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, that thing, you can't beat that rotator right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, the, the blue bubble, I've gotten asked this a few times, so I hear everybody call it a blue bubble. What is it? This is it right here. It's uh, white, blue, hollow, holographic, with crush glow on the other side. So that's your blue bubble. Moving on, and I, I know there's many other ones here that will work very well with meat rigs. Like I said, it's a great idea to get out there and experiment. Uh, work some things on your own, and when you find it, keep it. Keep that thing going. Anyway, there's the Kevin's Girlfriend. Fantastic, obviously, with the uh, with the Kevin's Girlfriend Spin Doctor, which I already showed you. Where'd it go? Where'd you go? Where did you go? Probably went right by it. I'll do that. <clears throat> there you are. Along with uh, really anything else that's going to work with it, the green on green. There's a uh, there is a spin doctor on here that has pearl on both sides instead of just the one. That's another great one to run with Kevin's girlfriend. Let's try to match up a little bit of the similar colors. Experiment around a little more. Anyway, I'm beating that horse enough. You understand what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right. Here's the yellow gas. So in that gasoline series, here's that yellow gas. Uh, and really the biggest the biggest difference is the yellow heads. And this one has a UV, just a flat UV uh, meat rig head on it, uh, where the green gas has a green stripe across, uh, across the meat head right there, the meat rig head. One thing I'll say this about Dreamweaver meat heads. So... I'm going to talk about diabolical meat rigs here in a second. Diabolical meat rigs, their meat heads are, all, are, are practically inflexible. You cannot bend those things unless you warm them up with a lighter. Um, and, and that's great. Some days that's exactly what you want. Um, they're rolling great. They're working wonderfully. You don't want it to, to be moved an inch. Dreamweaver meat heads, this tail right here is very flexible. You can bend this thing around. If you're not getting the roll that you prefer... Um, and I like like one roll per every second or second and a half. If you're not getting the roll that you prefer, you can tweak this thing by moving this around. And uh, don't forget to check that every now and then. Some people prefer the, the flexibility of the Dreamweaver. Some people, some people prefer the uh, inflexibility of, like I said, the Rise Davis or the Diabolical or the John King heads. So well, to each their own, I, I use both. And uh, I, like, I like the options that it gives me. All right, moving on. All right, that right here, 
this is the uh, the mother the mother of all meat rigs in my opinion the pickled sunshine meat rig this thing works with almost any rotator you put it on but some of my favorites are that double white crush the double pearl the double pearl fish scale the black double pearl the blue double pearl the green double pearl um, if I didn't say Kevin's girlfriend already that one as well of course and the live wire the uh, the showtime the UV showtime uh, the chin music the magic man uh, the chrome two-faced the UV chrome frog those are all excellent for this pickled sunshine this thing uh, is probably not probably this is my favorite meat rig right here uh, I've taken more fish on this meat rig than any others all right so the pickled sunshine yeah you got to have that one I have 20 of them <laughs> just run them all at the same time there's days I do that actually the kryptonite this one's a little lesser known but uh, we've had really good success with this one in the past on a few on the live wire meat or on the live wire spin doctor this is that's really the only spin doctor I run this thing on and it produces big fish uh, seems like every fish we take on this thing is big um, so the live wire spin doctor eight inch or ten inch with this kryptonite meat rig love it all right page two here's the oh another one on the gasoline series is the the black gasoline uh, so you see it's got the uh, black uh, teaser heads on it and some black dots on there so there's times when the black meat rigs are really working well it's not a bad idea to have a few of these in the box and there's a few others I'll show you I'll show you as well as we go through here all right the green moo this, uh, yeah we already had the green moo on the other page that looks like a typo that's probably supposed to be the moo moo so also on the tangle tackle website tangle tackle company.com we do have dreamweaver meat heads that you can buy and you can make your own meat rigs which uh, can be a darn good time it's a lot of fun making or catching things on things that you make and if you're looking to figure out how to make your own meat rigs we do have a video on that on this channel just take a search through here uh, and you will find it they are a lot of fun and if I remember as I get older that becomes more difficult but if I remember I will put a link to it in the upper right hand corner for that uh, make your own meat rigs video that was one we did a long long time ago I had like the personality of a wet sock in that thing I swear but anyway we're moving on diabolical cut bait rig so mark mcclutchy um, is a good friend of mine he owns operates diabolical sport fishing and diabolical cut bait rigs he got me into his stuff oh several years ago now and these are my also my go-to so uh if, if you're on my boat you're, and i'm running meat rigs you're gonna see me running a, a gambit or a, a mix of dreamweaver and diabolical cut bait rigs and uh, they both produce very very well uh, mark makes them right here in Michigan uh, and he does a darn good job he's actually designed his own meat heads I'll bring this picture up um, he's actually designed his own meat heads and I know that he poured or he has them poured or he pours them himself uh, and they are excellent uh, excellent running meat heads I'm really uh, really like the way these things run but anyway let's go over my go-to diabolical meat rigs all right mustard gas this thing in manistee this thing just has a, a way of working uh and i'm sure it works other places don't get me wrong but this thing over the past few years this yellow mustard gas has just taken some monster fish and big boxes of them as well um the yellow sparkler the dreamweaver yellow sparkler spin doctor my god that's 10 times fast a dreamweaver yellow sparkler spin doctor anyway <laughs> if you uh it, it, that's my go-to with this thing I love running this thing behind the yellow sparkler and the green sparkler and the blue sparkler something about those those spin doctors really work with this mustard gas so we'll start there the Wonder Bread is brand new this year uh, I haven't even run this thing yet but I do like the way it looks teasers are great great colors on the meathead and the other thing about uh, Mark's um, the products he uses owner hooks I believe they're size one they're they're bigger than the, the Dreamweaver but these are owner hooks uh, I believe in their they're either 2x or 4x strong as well so these are excellent really really sharp hooks be careful with these things and he runs a bead chain 
uh, on the front, which can be somewhat problematic hooking that thing up to a spin doctor. You have to get just a, a standard uh, snap clip or a standard snap to, to get that thing to work or tie it with a piece of mono. Um, I wish Mark, and Mark, if you watch this, no offense to you, but I wish you would include a snap on the front here so that they are easier uh, to, to attach to a, to a rotator. All right, buddy. Sorry, man. Had to get you there for a little bit. But anyway, Wonder Bread. I'm excited to run this thing this year. Really am. Don't know much about it other than it looks fantastic. This is close to my number one favorite. My number one favorite. My, my favorite diabolical meat rig. The, uh, the uh, UV, what is it? UV Stud Frog, I believe you call it. UV Super Frog. My apologies. UV Super Frog. I've taken some really nice fish on this thing. Uh, and several, several fish over the years. So this thing is outstanding on bright, sunny days behind some of those bright, sunny spin doctors. Love this thing. Uh, again, great teasers on it. You can see that, that uh, there's that bead chain right there. So you know what you're getting. All right, moving on. Really, all of these are really good, but I'm, I'm talking really about the ones that my, are my absolute go-tos. The, uh, the, I'm sorry, the, uh, oh my gosh, just slipped my, slipped my mind. The Black Magic just slipped my mind. Uh, this thing is fantastic. In fact, this, this fly right here, or the teaser fly on this thing, is what I, uh, is what I somewhat copied for my, my Blackjack fly that's on our, one of our videos. For a fly that you can tie on your own, uh, tie on your own. I like this thing so much. I had to copy it a little. Mark, again, if you're watching, don't hate me. Hey, we're friends. We'll we'll get through this. But uh, yeah, love this meat rig. Um, I know that this thing has taken it has won many tournaments for boats over the years. That thing with a with a Kevin's girlfriend rotator or the double pearl rotator. That thing is lights out. Love it. All right, moving on. Do, 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 do. Blue herring. There's times, especially especially early spring, or not early spring, but springtime in the summer, blue just seems to absolutely work. And uh, you better have some blue herring meat rigs on the boat because these things will take fish. May into June, early June, really all of May if you're running meat rigs, which I tend to do and a lot of other boats do as well. Um, that is the one you want to have out there. Blue really works well May and June. All right, Punisher. Like I said, if purple's working, this is one you better have. This is just like that. I would say it's very close to that Black Magic teaser on there, except it has some purple accents in there, which I really like. That thing behind that purple volume uh, spin doctor that I showed you already, 10 inch or 8 inch, that thing's going to do the do the job for you. When purple's going, that's a great one. Uh, the Purple Haze Spin Doctor as well from Dreamweaver. Absolutely. That's one you got to have out there. The Illusion. I started running this meat rig last year, and I really liked it. This thing behind a... I, I never took this off my Chin Music Spin Doctors, 8-inch and 10-inch. I ran this thing on several of those, and I had six, great, great success with it. So it's really a high-flash, high-bright, sunny day um, presentation. So, that, like I said, that chin music, and I would also say the Magic Man Spin Doctor would be excellent with this. Uh, but yeah, on a really bright, bright, bright sunny day, uh, that is a great one to have out there. All right, moving on. The Highway Man, I'm going to give that an honor, honorable mention. Uh, we, we sell out of that pretty quick in the shop. Uh, it's a great green meat rig. This one, I have not run yet. This thing is brand new. I haven't run it yet, but I like the looks of it. Uh, I like those black accents over the top of the UV tape, which is uh, crowded here by the green on the, on the tips as well. I like the way this thing looks. I'm going to be I'm gonna be running this thing this year without a doubt, and I'm excited to do it. I think that double pearl, the double white crush, um, the black double pearl, the Kevin's Girlfriend, um, the Dragon Slayer. Yeah, the Dragon Slayer is going to be really good with that. Uh, the Live Wire. All those Spin Doctors are going to be are going to be really good with that thing. All right. Snowblind, if you got UV that's really working well, uh, that, that's a great one to work right there. 
that thing with the Dreamcatcher Spin Doctor, that's that's a great one to have out there. Uh, I believe, if I remember right, I believe these heads actually glow. But then they have the UV tape on top of them with some really high flash teasers. Yeah, behind the Dreamcatcher, that's a great one. All right, moving on. The Warfrog. This one I started fishing a couple years ago and loved it. Uh, yeah, absolutely love this thing. Again, with a Kevin's Girlfriend. The Green Double Pearl. Also, the Showtime. Excuse me. The UV Showtime. All of those are going to be really good with this thing. Um, again, try to match up a little bit of color to color. But don't be afraid to experiment around and see if you can find other combinations that work. But I really do. I really do like that... Uh, that war frog that's what if i remember right that's one of his originals and uh, i know it's worked well for him and a lot of other people all right so i talked earlier about uh, when black's really working you, you got to have you know, when it just does it's like purple sometimes black meat rigs and uh, black presentations just work better than anything else that thing right there is a great one to have behind the uh, the black blade double the pearl double slick on the black blade that thing's Excellent. Lights out when it's really going. Uh, don't be afraid to throw that thing out there on dark days, overcast, foggy, uh, days like that. A little bit of, when there's chop on the water and you got those kind of days going on, that's a great one to have out there. Don't be afraid to throw that thing out there. All right. Where am I going next? I think we're running out of here. Oh, the magic frog I'm going to throw for an honorable mention. This, this is another really good one. That one and the Warfrog, I mean, they're pretty similar. And really, you can't do wrong. You can't go wrong with either one of those. So, good meat rigs. All right, how far? I'm like 27 minutes into this thing. I just talk and talk and talk. My gosh. You people got better things to do, I'm sure. So, I'm going to get out of here. Hey, that's that's just a, really in a nutshell, in a quick nutshell, some of my go-to meat rigs. Again, if, I, if I, you did not see your favorites on here, hey, it's no slight against you, no disrespect. These are just what have worked for me on my boat, and Jim's boat, and many other charter boats that I've been on. Uh, they put countless, not countless, I mean, you can count anything really, but they put a tremendous number of fish in the boat uh, over the years for us, so excellent. Hey, one thing I will throw out there is if you can't get cut bait in your area, and again, I love Dreamweaver cut bait. I've used it for years and years and years. Last year, I went to the big one cut bait out of Canada, and I love that stuff. Um, for me, it's a toss-up between the two. They're both excellent. But if you can't get Dreamweaver in your area, uh, look around. See, the big one cut bait is an excellent product as well. Uh, you, you can't go wrong, really, with either one of those. So that's it. Let's get out of here. Hop back on on Sunday nights at 7 o'clock. I'd love to see you all there. Question and answer time. Great uh, great topics, great people on there, great community. We normally get between like 150, 200 people hop on, um, and people ask some just fantastic questions. If you're new to salmon fishing, you're new to trout fishing, you got some stuff you want answered, we're happy to help you out. Um, and we just love seeing people on there. It's a great, great, great community. Anyway, let's get out of here. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but that's okay. All right, be safe, everyone. I will see and talk with you all soon.